you clicked on this because you have this Google Home uh, Nest thermostat offline. Every once in a while it comes up, maybe every two days, and this is a permanent solution to fix it. I was figured this out because I had two Google Nest thermostat, and if you look at uh, on the right image, my device is connected, but the Google Home says no, it's offline. And the middle shows the device information as inactive. And this one is my second device. It's pretty much the same thing. First device is last contact time is 11.58.03. And the second device's last contact is 11.58.44. That is the reason I looked for the solution in my router, as it otherwise called modem. Let's take a look at some notes from Google. As it is mentioned in this note, uh, you can definitely play with the firewall, but unfortunately, that's not the issue. Restarting Google Nest device is going to fix temporarily, but every two days it will go back to offline. The first step of the solution is changing the 802.11 mode to BGN. Log into your router and go to 802.11 radio section. In wireless tab, change the 802.11 mode to BGN. Change the channel number to something else that acceptable rather than severe. You don't have to change the 5 GHz settings, just keep it as it is. Second step is to change the DHCP settings. Go to DHCP settings under basic tab. It might be different on your router. Enable the DHCP server if it's not already. The least time is the crucial point. You have to change it from 3600 seconds to 7200 seconds. That's it. There is nothing else to do. Just skip the last one. Do not set up Google Nest device to static, uh, which I did but failed. Nest device IP should be dynamic and controlled by router. Don't make it static again. Also, it's okay to select and delete to resolve your issues if you have. Here is after I fix it. On the left, you can definitely see that uh, the automatically connected from offline. I didn't do anything. And in the middle, you can see that it's running in healing mode. On the right side, you can see that it's active. Let me know if you have any questions. And please subscribe so you can always have an access to this tutorial.